Jokesters. It is Saturday. Uh, you can see it's it's almost 11 o'clock. I've been up since about 8.30. Casey's been up since like, I think 7.30. Dominic's been up since before that, real early. He's feeling better. His temperature was down all night and Casey checked it when she got up and it was still 100, but it's back to 98.6 now which if you live where there's Celsius, I, I don't know what that is. Look up the conversion. You probably know, but as a stupid American with no metric system training, I don't know what that is. I, I suppose I could look it up, but I'm vlogging right now. I keep old containers like this. This is a ketchup bottle, but it has the, oh, where'd it go? It has a squeezy top. See, makes for good pancake squeezing, which I forgot. Tomic asked for pancakes this morning, and after him being sick for a couple of days, I told him that uh, I'd make him pancakes, but I asked him if he'd like a color, and that's the one he chose. So we're gonna see if this works out. Hopefully it looks blue and not green. <laughs> and I figured I'd make up a big batch of batter. There we go. Yeah, I think it's a little, I think I need to add a little more. I'm gonna make a big batch of batter, and it would last a couple of days. So I can easily make pancakes again tomorrow. So nine drops now. It's a, this is just cheap, best choice pancake batter. All right, let's see if I can make this happen without, it's gonna spill over, but I think I can do this. When you're pouring from one container to another, it's best to pour high because the stream tends to thin out as it gets lower or get a funnel. All right, let's see how this goes. It's a small enough bowl that I think I can handle it with one hand. Huh? Now that, folks, is pretty good. That is a steady hand, I'd say. I'd say that's a pretty good job, huh? None spilled on the outside. I'm doing my best to be his world this morning. I hope you guys are doing your best to be somebody's world. Remember, also, this awesome shirt. At the beginning of the vlog, let's talk about it. You can get one of these at seethesitesfam.com. Go on there, click the merch tab, find yourself an awesome shirt. I love this one. Hudson's bus driver slash bus monitor, depending on what time of the day the bus shows up, said she just got one and I asked her what color and she said she got this color, which is the color of Hudson's back and forth from school information folder. So thank you, Miss Angie, for joining the Hopesters. She said she recently joined the Hopesters and has been watching the vlog. So Angie, welcome to the See the Sights fam. Okay, let me get this pan washed up. We'll see how these pancakes turn out. See if they still look blue when they're when they're done. See you in a minute, hopesters. pancakes are done and I put them on a blue plate too <laughs> I mean they're just pancakes but they're blue they look blue put a, a few drops of uh, some blueberry syrup in there and a couple of them I'm going to wait for my blue pancakes to cool off oh well all right I'm gonna cut them in half for you You're welcome. I'm gonna eat these other ones because it's the weekend. By the way, this is episode seven. So if I got this up in time, that's seven days in a row. It's been a long time since I've done that. I think we're back, Hopesters. Okay, got episode six done, posted, all the uploaded stuff. It's out there. It's, it's there. 
Hudson and Dominic and I are outside. Casey's got a little bit of work to do this afternoon. So trying to get outside, get out of her hair so that she can get it done. I spent my morning doing, you know, my work, which is the vlog. Okay, you can come out of timeout now. Do you know why you went to timeout? Because I said dad. And did you have something to say when you said daddy? No. No. And are we supposed to do that anymore? No. Okay. When Stop doing that. You gotta stop doing that, buddy. You about made me jump to the ceiling when I was making pancakes this morning. He just, you know, just randomly just screams out, Daddy! <laughs> what? I'm like, Wah! like a cat attached to the ceiling. What? How did I about make you jump to the ceiling? Because you just scream out, Daddy, random times. 40 times an hour. So I have this idea for Halloween, so I need to work on a proof of concept for it. One of the neighbors said, hey buddy, we don't have any more purple. Red, orange, blue. Blue. But my idea, hang on, let me give this guy his popsicle. Who needs scissors? So my idea for this Halloween is, well, let's see, okay. There's a beam that runs across the top here. I'm gonna try to hang a curtain and then have like a shirt, sheer curtain in front of it. It'll have a split right where this ramp is. And then behind there, one of us will have a little like shadow box with a small curtain. And we're gonna have like a hand puppet ghost that'll come out between the curtains and talk to the kids because that person back there should have a little screen because I'm gonna hopefully mount a camera out here where we can see the kids that are coming up and then a projector projecting onto that sheer screen whatever the puppet is doing so it'll look like it came through the curtain and talks to the kids and then the kids are gonna have like toy guns that are going to be like Ghostbuster type guns and so the kids will come up and the ghost will greet them and they'll have to like shoot the the ghost and then we'll throw some candy out to him and tell him thanks for killing the ghost we're coming up with this whole storyline but it's going to take a projector that projects the image and a camera that faces the kids and then behind the screen a screen so the person on the puppet can see the kids and interact and a camera facing the puppet box so that it appears on what we're projecting so I'm gonna try to work on that like proof of concept with a neighbor of mine this week and see if we can make it work. Cause it's an idea right now and it, it may not work. Today? No, for Halloween. Why? What do you want to be for Halloween, by the way? We gotta start thinking about this. It's only a month and a half out. I wanna be Stormtrooper. A Stormtrooper, again? Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, that's an easy costume. <laughs> anyway, very excited about Halloween. Hoping to work on that this week. No guarantees when you'll see that in a vlog. Hoping that we get it done in time for Halloween. I, I think we can. It, I'll, I'll start like two weeks before Halloween, I'll start clearing the garage out and getting it prepared and Casey will know to not park in the garage. She knows every late October to not park in the garage. She just That's just the way it goes. Sorry. <laughs> Halloween's my holiday. Well, there must be a game going on. Cause I thought, man, that's a loud airplane. And I looked up at an A-10 Warthog. When I was a young warthog. Was flying by. And usually when that happens, there'll be a few. Oh, there he goes. Just way over there. You won't be able to see them on video because the perspective is always really tight, but hopefully they'll come by close again. Oh, there they go. I'm gonna flip this around, it'll be a better camera. Those are just the coolest plane ever made. I think they've been decommissioned or, well, no, they're still good, but they, I don't know if they're making them anymore or ordering any more of those, unfortunately, but that plane is, what, it's so, so cool. The, the two big engines on the back and just 
Yeah, those things are like made for destroying tanks. They're, yeah. I know it's mostly, the demographic for this channel is only 18% men. And I know that like, you know, military planes is kind of a guy thing, but I'm a guy and I love those planes. <laughs> they're so cool. It was like, I had a toy one it, when I was had my G.I. Joes. Oh, they're closer. Those things are so cool. She does? Yeah. Did she tell you that? Yeah. <laughs> Hudson did tell me. Well, you we might. I'm gonna put her sunglasses on. I think maybe we can go for a walk. Do you wanna go for a walk? They must be flying over the either the sporting KC game or maybe there's races going on at the NASCAR track. Both are like that direction. So they must be doing flyovers for a big game or race or something. Oh, I know what it is. The American Royal Barbecue is going on over there. That's what it is. What? Of course, it's the Super Bowl of barbecue. Where are they going? Hmm. Now I'm hungry. <laughs> So we're all going on a walk down to the school. It's really bright out, so I'm gonna put my sunglasses back on. Oh, that's better. <sighs> okay. We're on our walk. Well, we walked down to Domic's school. It's really hot out, and Casey's, Casey's hamstrings are hurting a bit. Sorry if there's like wind noise here, it's like, kind of breezy through here. I don't know, it's, it's actually really hot out. We were gonna go on a longer walk, but Hudson Ann, there's a little too much sun shining on you, wasn't there? We were starting to get hot too, and you weren't even the exerciser, you were just the rider. So we're gonna let him play down here for a bit, maybe burn some energy off of him. Casey's like darn near limping. She's been doing these isolated muscle workouts where you're just like the same muscle over and over and over and over, and then you move to a different muscle and it's over and over and over and over. And over. So her and her sister are hurting pretty hard. They're on, what day are you on on your exercises? Six. What? Day six of 80. <laughs> You're kidding. Well, we already did a three week program before this. So yeah, they, well they did a, yeah, they did three weeks before that and then we went on our vacation and then they started an 80 day. Look at me! Every Daddy. single yes, day. Excuse me. No, I was sitting here already. You can hop down and go around. Let me see how far you can go this way. up on three o'clock and I am starving, getting shaky. I gotta eat something. Those two little pancakes didn't quite do it for me. <laughs> when we get in the house, I think we're all gonna take a nap. Right, Chugs? Yeah, you're already napping. <laughs> I'm actually surprised with how hot it is outside. But Hudson loved it. We got some vitamin D therapy for the day, I suppose. Okay, Dominic's got a water. He's going to his room for a nap. We're gonna get Hudson down in the cool and we're gonna all lay down and but get at I least an hour. You can play with your toys, but you play with them in your bed in your room, okay? This is gonna be a really fast episode. Casey's getting her part of tucking Dominic into bed and then I'm gonna go do my part for tucking him into bed. We, well, I took a nap. Dominic took a four hour nap and he's only been up for an hour and a half and he said he's ready for bed again. So his temperature's gone but he's he's still pretty wiped out. So he's he's going he's going to bed. It's it's I mean it's his bedtime right now. And Hudson's uh downstairs. Casey and I were watching a movie and Casey's kinda like done with being on camera today. So uh it's just just me signing out the vlog again. A quick, fast episode. Remember guys like it says to the world, you may be just one person, but to one person, you may be the world. And I hope you had a good Saturday and I will see you in the next episode. Weekend vlog seven days in a row.
<laughs> Love you guys. Hopefully see you tomorrow.